guys, good morning. It's currently 8 in the morning and I'm on a train. Guess what? I am going home. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm really excited. So I left my CT at around 3 a.m. and my train is scheduled to arrive in Beijing at 9.05. I'm just so excited about going home. I'm just happy. I'm really happy. For once, I'm gonna have to take all my masks off. You know, it feels like a walk to freedom. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a walk to freedom, so. So we finally got to Beijing. Um, about to get on the airport shuttle bus. It's a, it's gonna leave at 11, 11, and it's uh, around 10:30. At this point, the excitement starts to kick in because I'm getting closer to home. We're headed to the airport. Now, this is Beijing City, one of the most beautiful cities in China and one of my favorite. The streets are empty. Well, not so empty, but not the way they're supposed to be. I did not expect this, but I expected something like this, knowing you know what's going on the coronavirus issue and people not moving around there hasn't been much activities or people moving around so it was normal for the city to look like this guys while on the bus i wanted to talk but i couldn't because i was feeling sleepy so yeah i had to do a voiceover <laughs> We had to wear our bags before checking in because we overpacked. We were screened and had our temperature check before entering the airport and we had to wait for over 4 hours before connecting flights. <laughs> I don't know what was happening here. <laughs> but if you know me well, I was actually I was probably imitating somebody or making fun of someone <laughs> or just laughing about something I saw. I don't know. But well, I was just feeling good. I was just feeling good.
Saka airport yun. Ano ba po sa... Emma, guys, Apa, so I think it wasn't just me. At this point, everybody was excited. This was our last flight. The next stop is Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. Eh, we're finally home. You know, looking at Lusaka from up here made me miss this place even more. I don't even know how that happened, but you know, I knew I was gonna be home, but just looking at this place made me realize how much I missed my country, how much I missed my family, how much I missed my friends, and just how much I missed my life back home. So we are finally landing. Touchdown. Ima guys. I am finally home. At this point, the only thing I was looking forward to is seeing my mom, my dad, and my siblings before anybody else. <laughs> so I'm here, I'm home. So immediately after these, I went to have my SIM card replaced and I called all my friends to let them know that I'm in the country. We're home, guys. <laughs> 